So, Game two today at noon, TV 10 and uh, Talk Radio WRNR, as well as the YouTube live stream. Now, when you need a counselor, an attorney, you go for a power broker like Lisa Henry. You bring her in, and she knows exactly what buttons to push, who the people are that you need to get involved. She takes care of things. They call her the fixer. Lisa Henry, how are you? I am well. I need to always do... Um to clarify, though, not a practicing attorney anymore. No, you but had your I, time. But, uh, hey, I will fix things. You so. had your yeah. time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you, you were in your day. You were suits. Yep. Oh, yeah. Corporate but we attorney. were not business casual. No. Yeah, that came a little later. Did, yeah, did you watch the TV show Suits at all? I did not. Well, you can catch up with it on Netflix. Okay, I will right. do that. <laughs> I, I missed the world when it was a little dressier. I mean, I used to wear suits all the time yeah. and stuff. You were a Don Draper kind of guy. It was a, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a better world, I think. Yeah, so I just got a little too relaxed. As we all sit around in pullovers. <laughs> and pull, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, polo shirts. Yeah. I just feel sorry for the dry cleaners who, you know, have faded fast. That's so funny. When I, when I, uh, a couple of years ago. I brought a shirt and a suit back to my dry cleaner, and she almost did a cartwheel. I was like, oh, you're, are you back to work? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, I never actually stopped, but everything's kind of more casual now. Uh, let's talk about the backpack program and a golf tournament that you've got coming up. This is a nice fundraiser for you folks. Uh, yes, absolutely. So um, backpack program, in case you don't know, we are an all-volunteer organization that provides Bags of food, we deliver them to the schools every week so kids who are in need have food over the weekends because they'll get breakfast and lunches at the school um, and this helps families tide them over. Um, so from some families it might be literally the only food that the kids have for the weekend. Other families, um, it's a supplement that, that helps tide them over. And we're up to uh, 780 children each week. And we just delivered end-of-the-year food bags to the schools yesterday. We do two large bags to kick off summer, kids end school on Friday. So mm -hmm. I'm sure they're looking forward to that. Um, and then we'll go into our summer program. So right now we are happy that the uh, Woods Men's and Women's um, associations are hosting a golf tournament to benefit the backpack program um, this will help kick off our summer program where we continue to provide food for families um, and so our golf tournament is on Monday June 10th and we're at the woods and we're uh, hoping that this will bring in a lot of funds to help fund our summer program and this is where Dave Keeler comes in Dave good morning good morning nice to be here good to have you thank you yeah t tell us about the tournament uh, it's a, a, just a regular old scramble. Uh, 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 it's $100 per player, 375 for a foursome. Uh, there's going to be contests for closest to the pin, uh, long drive, uh, uh, straightest drive. And uh, it's a beautiful golf course, and it's always a nice tournament, and we hope to have a big turnout. How do you determine the straightest drive? Do you put a marker in the middle yeah, of the fairway who's ever closest put, uh, to it? Uh, run a line down the fairway. Yeah, uh, I would have to aim way left and hope the ball slices back right to get to the middle. But I did win it closest to the pin once at a tournament. That was pretty cool. I would like to see a tournament have a prize for worst drive. You know, absolute <laughs> farthest off the course. You know, maybe through the window of one of the houses. I mean, it's just abysmal. Everybody ties for first, right? Yes. So th the straightest drive is not necessarily straight from the tee to where it lands. Because as you said, if you play your slice or hook just right, you could have it go way out but end up right in the middle of the fairway. You could, in that, theory, yes. Okay. A lot of people just don't hit a driver. They'll hit like a wedge. Okay. So it only goes 100 yards, but it's straight. Yeah, well, that, and there's no I distance guess. requirement. None. None. Just pride. <laughs> <laughs> so you literally could just tap it off the tee, and it's just right in front. Like pride. No, it has to go past <laughs> the women's tees if you're a guy teeing off. Yeah. You remember those the oh, yeah. commercial oh, back in the, the rule, day? Yeah, where, you yeah. Know, It's got to at least get in the fairway, right? Uh, you're that, insulting that rule Lisa is here. still in effect. <laughs> <laughs> I had no, one, of, one, of, one of the guys on my team yesterday was arguing with the marshal about the fact that, you know, he, even though he was only 60, he should be able to tee off from the senior tees. Mm -hmm. The guy wasn't having it. No, no, no. You know, one of the neat little things we did, I've run four golf tournaments in my day, and we had a, over by the driving range of the one course where we had it, 
we had what everybody's always wanted to do, especially if you're a guy. Mm -hmm. We brought aluminum baseball bats, and you could take a range golf ball, and you could try to hit the ball as far as you could with a baseball bat. That attracted so many people. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you can't hit it as far as you think you can. Right. It doesn't, the ball doesn't yeah. travel that far off of a ball bat, not like a golf club. I'm going to have to try that now sometime. See, that just added to, the, you added to the bucket list. Everybody out there listening has gone, oh, I've always wanted to do that. Yes. See how far it's going to go. And you're going to try it now. You have to admit you're going to try it. I will definitely. Yeah. Al aluminum bat sales are going to soar. See, <laughs> I, it's all to me. It's all to me. And range balls. People are going to be scavenging up range Rob balls. Rob says invest in aluminum bat manufacturers <laughs> as of now. And do it quickly. Uh, Lisa, to register for the golf tournament. How do you do it? Uh, you can go to our website. Uh, you can either just Google Berkeley County Backpack Program and we'll come up. Or our website is feedbcwvkids.org. And uh, we click on events and all our uh, the flyer and the um, player registration and sponsorship forms are there. So we're also ex still ex expecting sponsors and we still have room for teams. And how many golfers can you accommodate? I think it's at 100, 100. 144. So you'll just double up each, mm -hmm. each tee. Two foursomes on every That's four. our goal. Okay. And how much are you hoping to make? Um, two years ago, um, when the Men's and Women's Association hosted us before, it was about 12000 which is about the average cost of a month of food. Um, so we're hoping to beat that this year. That's a pretty good target, and I wish you the best of luck on that. Thank you. If you can't play but you'd like to donate, how do you do that? Um, we have uh, go to our website or Facebook page, and the forms are on there as well. We have T-Signs for $100. Uh, you can sponsor a prize. We have gold sponsorship for $600, and we have several businesses that have signed up for that, and a platinum sponsorship for 1000 is, has anyone taken that one yet? Not yet. I don't know. Somebody could be taking that one. Maybe. <laughs> right. Yep. And I also uh, want to add, if you need any more enticement, CMA, um, Toyota, um, Chevrolet, they are doing a hole-in-one car. Oh, nice. So mm -hmm. if you get the hole-in-one, what hole we uh, have we selected for the contest? On uh, this we one? usually use the 11th hole. 11th hole. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you win that one, you get the car. What Do you know what car it is? It's usually a really nice Toyota, I think. Last time it was a Camry they brought. Yeah, they oh they man. they bring a team and drive it over to the course so you can see it. Mm -hmm. It's a nice car. That is yeah. nice. I, I'd have just said Rob Free Free Car. What do you care? <laughs> yeah. Matt Miller. I, I thought it was yeah. I thought it was going to be sponsor and get a car. <laughs> if you're I, the platinum sponsor for a thousand dollars, get a car. <laughs> That's have you had anyone come close to the car in the past? Not for our tournament. With their tee shot, yes. Getting in the hole, no. You're right. Yeah. I've yeah. heard there have been hole in ones at the woods, but right. not. Oh, yeah. I don't think no. during a tournament I've for never a car. Seen one for Has anybody ever hit the actual a car, car <laughs> with the drive? I hope not, because that is that the registration table where the pavilion is in the front, <laughs> oh, okay. like that would be really bad. Okay. <laughs> wow. No, Bodwell <laughs> says that he can hit the. Uh, if anybody can. Yeah. That, okay. That's the candidate for worst shot that he okay. was looking for. You know, that your would, prize would, is yeah. you get to pay to have the dent taken yeah. out of the car. <laughs> I had a friend in college who won a. a he, if you sunk a half court shot, you won a car, and he sunk a half court shot, and he ran all the way down the court and dove on the hood of the car and dented it. <laughs> So he effectively won a used car now. <laughs> and from that point forward, his nickname was Buffoon. <laughs> Lisa, you mentioned that, that if the tournament brings in about 12000 that's the cost of a month of food. And, and you mentioned this will go towards the summertime program, which is going to be at least two full months, correct, if not a little bit more before students get back into school. How do you help to support those remaining months? Uh, so we are um, funded by business, individual, church donations. We also, um, I write grants, um, and we also got a grant from Procter & Gamble for $10,000 that will help with the summer program as well. We also receive grant funding from the United Way. And then also we have to fill in what we can with fundraisers, such as the golf tournament. Is it better for folks to donate financially as opposed to, say, bringing in food items because it's easier for you to make the selections and get the food yourself? So we do take 
uh, donations of non-perishable food, and we have several drop box locations across Berkeley County. If you look on our website, BCT Bank um, is one of the more popular ones um, in Martinsburg and Hedgesville, and you can just bring in your donations during their business hours. However, um, with monetary donations, we're able to purchase in bulk and have the money go further. Um, it does help with the actual food donations, though, because it's a little more variety. Um, when you buy in bulk, you're limited as to what you can buy, but we're able to have some variety when people donate, which also helps when we do our allergy food bags. So students who have food allergies, the very serious allergies are done by Berkeley County Schools Nutrition, um, their dietitian, and um, if there is a potential for any anaphylactic um, reaction from the food. Berkeley County Schools does take care of those, but there's a lot of food intolerances such as red dye, um, lactose, milk, um, those types of things. So the food donations help with a variety that, um, you know, we can put together those bags to make sure all the kids are receiving food that they can eat. That's very cool. I wouldn't, I would never have thought of that. Let me ask you this. You said 780 kids. Is that, how, where was that I don't know how many years you've been involved with the program. Where was the, where is that compared to what it was two years ago? Say, um, it has gone up significantly this year. I did a percentage. I think it's like about fifteen percent increase this year. Um, during COVID, with the kids in and out of school, our numbers weren't consistent. Like one week we'd have eight hundred, the next week we'd have five hundred. It was. Um, it was hard to tell, but um, last year at this time, we were about 700 kids, so now about 780, so it, it has been an increase. So it could be increase in need plus increase of people moving into this area. Well, it's just, it's such a great program, and I'm, I, as I said in the break, I'm, I'm going to donate Bible Insurance. We're, we're going to make a donation. Thank you. Yeah, without a doubt. What, I mean, it's, it's, kids deserve to eat. I mean, it's the, the basic need of society is you take care of the, the children, the ill, the infirm. I mean, I, I think it's a wonderful program. I know some people who, who have volunteered with it. So if anybody out there is listening, um, please, please donate. This is local. These are, these are people who are feeding kids. It's amazing. And the money goes directly to the kids. Uh, we have no employees. Um, no one gets reimbursed for their gas mileage. It's all the volunteers take it upon themselves. And so your money is going directly to kids in Berkeley County. Where are you doing the drop-offs for food donations and uh, the packing these days? So um, we are located at um, 300 Foxcroft Avenue across from the Holiday Inn. However, since we are all volunteer, we don't have set office hours. Um, so if you are interested in volunteering, just um, you can call or email us to inquire about that. And we do have drop boxes at, um, across the county, and you can check those out online. How many schools are you in in Berkeley County now? 25. And how many schools total are there? 32. 32, but there's another So the other schools partner. are covered by Kids Power Pack, another mm -hmm. amazing nonprofit. They do some of the Berkeley County schools and Jefferson County schools. So they um, also check them out as well. So, um so all the schools in Berkeley County are covered, which which is amazing. You used to also ask for plastic bag donations. Do you still accept those? Uh, we are good with plastic bags for the moment. Usually um, we are able to get businesses will donate them to us. Mm -hmm. And we have a wonderful volunteer, Betty, who uh, takes these thousands of bags, double bags them, because all, you all know when you go to Walmart <laughs> or grocery store, they rip automatically. So she um, takes her time double bags all these bags so one week um you know it's 780 times two putting them together for us um and not in neat stacks and boxes so they're ready to go for when the volunteers come to assemble the food bags are you getting uh, also contributions from the united way in the community foundation as part of your funding yes we uh received we were one of the five recipients of their community impact grant last summer and um, so we were thrilled about that. That was um, very much needed. And that was a $20,000 grant for the year. And they have just emailed us that they're going to extend it. Um, we don't know the amount yet, but. Um, You're talking the United Way? Yes. Okay. So that's, um, we're very, yep, we've been uh, part, uh, agency of the United Way uh, for about 14 years now. And food inflation has been insane oh the last goodness. 12 months. How mm -hmm. has it affected you? Uh, it's our 
our costs have gone through the roof. Yes. Um, as you know, when you go to the grocery store, I mean, it's really just unbelievable. And families, um, you know, who have young kids, and it's also we have a lot of grandparents taking care of grandkids now, and they're on a fixed income. Um, food's expensive, so we're very happy to be there to help in this small way with a bag of food uh, to make sure the kids are fed. Are you able to work with distributors that might help keep those costs down, or do you pretty much have to buy retail? Uh, we have tried, but um, a lot of the larger corporations do not work that way. But we are part of the Mountaineer Food Bank system, which is one of the two um, Feeding America food banks in West Virginia. So a lot of, let's say, Walmart has access they can't sell. It goes to the Mountaineer Food Bank and then gets distributed to the agencies who are a part of that food bank. Um, and they come to, we place our order online. We do have to purchase the food. Occasionally there might be a free item or two, but we purchase the food. And um, they come to Berkeley County twice a month from Gasaway, West Virginia, in their truck. And... I think there's about 15 to 20 uh, agencies in Berkeley County that meet the truck, um, like Boys and Girls Club, um, Loaves and Fishes, all of them we meet and get the food. Lisa, thanks for coming in. Dave, good to see you again. 